Hey boys and girls, welcome to round one of Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi 3 League Playoffs. This is where the top, top, well, 12 teams, I had to think for a second. The top 12 teams begin their road to the Tenkaichi Bowl, uh, and it starts tonight. Now the top teams in each division get a bye week, which means they are not playing tonight. It is only the second and third place teams of every division are going to face off for the right to play the first place winners of every division. And then the winners of each division will face off. Uh, and just so you know, it'll be north versus south, east versus west. And then in the Tenkaichi Bowl, we're going to have either we're going to have whoever wins north and south versus whoever wins east and west. So, and I'm going to have, uh, like, titles for everyone. Like, on your banners, if you won, say, North Kai Division, but you didn't win the Super Bowl, you'll still be able to put on your banner North Kai Division Champions or South Kai Division Champions. Um, but that doesn't mean you got first place. That means you made it to the semifinals, if everyone understands what I'm talking about. So, yeah. so uh, the, 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 the rounds are held a little bit differently because this is the playoffs. And we felt it should be special. Yay. Yay. <laughs> you know, like the one kid that, 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 that everyone says, oh, he's not like all the other weeks. All right. <laughs> it is it's going to be uh, best two out of three matches. Every match, like, for example, the first matchup tonight is North Kai Division, Team Cold versus the Earth Defenders. They're going to play at least two matches. It's going to be the first team to gain two victories will move on to next week's game. Um, and we're going to do them all at the same time. So we're not going to do one of North Kai and then one of South Kai because that would be way too confusing for people on YouTube. You know, skip to this place mm -hmm. and then skip to this place. So we're going to do it all at once. But basically the idea is we don't want a team to win just because the other team, you know, tripped or something. You know, sometimes you can win a match just by luck or you pull off the right move at the right time or whatnot. We want to try and ensure that the best team is moving forward. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's start with match one. Yay. The Team Cold versus my team. Really, the only important team. Earth Defenders. Which I might add, uh, not to toot my own horn or anything, but uh, uh, my team is the only team that has to get through two of the top ranked teams in the league. Uh, two 10 and 2 teams. It's it's actually kind of a death wish, but you know. But yeah. there's even a bet. There's even a bet that I took up that's like it's like it's called the ultimate underdog. It's like 10,000 uh, squee points and basically if if they make it to the they don't have to win the Super Bowl, but if they make it to the Super Bowl, I get like a buttload of points. <laughs> that's how badly no one thinks they're going to make it. It's so sad. No awesome. one believes in my team. I love those odds. But I have a very different build for my team uh, this this week. I, 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 was, I was telling people before uh, before the stream started or before the uh, recording started, I studied a lot of Team Cold film, and I'm hoping it pays off. Probably won't. Probably won't, but I'm hoping it does. Yeah. I'm curious about your build right now. Do you have any? Can you comment on that at all? Sure, I can. Of course. Um, I, 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 I hide no, no, no builds from anyone. Uh, Krillin is pretty much the same as he was last week because we feel that we kind of were really starting to get somewhere with him. Uh, with the Frieza AI, uh, we gave him Quick Charge so that he uh, can charge his Kamehameha a little faster. Um, and Indignation, and of course Dende's healing. Uh. And rising, fighting rising spirit. Um, now, Goku and Yamcha are the big changes. Goku has Savior and Power Body. Savior because, to be honest, Team Cold's biggest strength is they spam ultimates like hotcakes. And their ultimates are really hard to dodge. And I felt if we have yeah. any chance, we have to fight fire with fire. We have to throw spirit bombs. We have to. Uh, I just don't see us winning without high damaging moves like that. Oh, like this one right here! Destructo disc hits! For... 10, 12,000 points of damage. And look at that. Krillin's not wow. even touched yet. Whew. For the most part. For the most part. Well, Dende's healing just took care of us. healing, yeah. yeah. Um, no, so Savior, hopefully he'll do... Uh, oh, God, no. See what I mean by them spamming the ultimates? And... And he just made this an even fight. <laughs> Aww. 
But in any case, so I'm hoping Goku will spam the Spirit Bomb, and I gave him Power Body. Because Light Earth and I were, were, were thinking about it, and I was watching the film, like I said, and a lot of his rush moves um, were deflected by simple punches and kicks. So I'm hoping Power Body will allow him to get more of these moves off without being interrupted. Uh, and Frieza's mm. already at max power again. Look at that. Wow. Don't let him use it. Don't let him use it! Good job, Krillin. Uh, and Yamcha's the exact same. He's uh, indignation and power body for the exact same reason. I, I, I found that over half of his uh, Wolf Fang Fist were blocked by simple blasts and punches. And I'm hoping that this will, uh, you know, help, help deflect that a little bit. And Tien's exactly the same, because quite honestly, we're not sure what to do with Tien. <laughs> some weeks he's great, some weeks he's not, and, and, and on the offseason we'll work on turning him into a great fighter, but for the time being, we're just going to have to hope for the best. Yay. But, so, but, but considering how late in the season we are, pretty big changes. Especially since I didn't have a chance oh, yeah. to test any of it out. Um, it's kind of like an all or nothing. We're going all out and just hoping, it, hoping for a win. You know, at least if we go down, we go down fighting. Indeed. And Freeze is some pretty large stars on these things. And Freeze is going uh, third form, alien form, and he's destroying Krillin. Krillin doing a Kamehameha, and it missed. Oh ho ho ho! Tag out, Krillin. Come on, you know you want to tag out. He did a great job. He really doesn't tag out. He doesn't. He does not like to tag out. <laughs> but he really should. Krillin. Though. No, he's dead. Oh, Krillin. He was doing really good there for a while until Frieza started transforming. <laughs> yeah, that kind of evened up the field. Well, I guess it wouldn't be evening if you pulled out in front. Right. Hmm. <laughs> right, it kind of caused him to pull out in front. I I'm happy though Krillin pulled off an ultimate, and it did pretty well. Mm -hmm. If Yamcha can take Frieza out without too much damage, we can get back into this. And and the one thing to remember, unlike any other uh, of the regular weeks, we have another shot at this. If we don't do well in this match, we get to redo. We have another try. Wolf Fang Fist connects! Wait, if you don't do well this week, you have another try? Uh, no, no, no. Tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. The the two the two out of three matches. Right, right, right. Oh, okay. H hang on. Hey, hey, we're back. Sorry, I had a small pause in the action. Oh, come on, take Frieza down before he transforms or uh, leaves. Tags out. That's the word I was looking for. Tagging out. And misses with the Kamehameha, but he takes him out with his fist. Good job, Yamcha. And now we're back in it. It seems pretty even for the most part. Yeah, um, we're down by about two thirds of a health bar, and Cooler is at max power, which is always dangerous mm. with Team Cold. For this exact reason, and Wolfing Fist is not going to stop it. I don't think. No. Oh no. Oh, no. And this is why Team Cold is just so dangerous. I mean, How look much at damage. Thirteen thousand. Okay. Uh, I mean, gosh, and actually, that's kind of small. I thought most of their most of their ultimates are over fifteen thousand. Um, yeah, that's, but that's pretty impressive. Yeah, but I mean, look at that. It went from being a pretty even fight to Cooler having a demanding lead again because those ultimates, man. Uh, you have to give you have to give Rebel credit. He really learned his team well and built them to be, uh, I mean, a top team. Because last season, mm. Team Cold was nothing. And quite honestly, if you just add Metacooler, that's not enough. Re uh, Rebel had to, to build the team into what it is. And I think Absolutely. he did a really good job. Oh, oh, and uh, Cooler takes Yamcha even further down. Uh, Yamcha, what well, are you doing? I, I would say my team has a similar build to uh, the Freezes. Um, I, I would have to actually look at the builds themselves, but uh, I, I would say they're, they're probably going to be very similar. Ouch, and uh, there goes... It seems like the same things that I do. Right. 
Ouch! There goes uh, there goes Yamcha. Yeah, but for some reason, you got your similars are very your builds are very similar, but his players will spam ultimates a lot more than yours will. Mhm. Mm they they will actually uh, spend the time to charge up. Right. And and then launch it. Like, well, Supreme they won't launch supers basically. Supreme Kai will do it on a regular basis. Yeah, um, he, he doesn't charge that much, as I noticed. Um, he, he does do it at opportune times, but sometimes it will just fly around. Right. And I hate it when he does it. Oh, ouch, nice combo from Cooler. And Cooler is really busting out with that Psychonesis. That's, I think, twice now he's done that. Oh, and a it's nice a hit move. from Goku. And Goku is tearing Cooler apart with two separate 20 times Kamehameha's. Goku powering up to maximum. He connects. And he's doing a meteor combination and hits. And down goes Cooler. This is probably, yeah. Whew. So we're not out of this yet. It's down to Mecha Frieza and Meta Cooler versus Goku and Tien. We're down, we're down by about a bar and a half. So we're still at a disadvantage. But, you know, a bar and a half could mean nothing in this league. Yeah, I, I'm looking at the, the power bars right now, and it does not look good for no, your team. No, it does not. Unless Goku can get some time to charge up. What he really needs to do is... Um, oh, well, that, that was some good luck. Yeah, but, I know. Um, I was about to say, what he really needs to do is almost just time out the uh, Ooh, ultimate. Another good... Just uh, pretty much going like in front of the person driving them, throwing them, charging up from afar, being able to uh, dodge or at least uh, not be in the battle for long enough oh. for the uh, ultimates to go off. Another connection with the Meteor combo. Uh, now, I gave him this AI to help try and get him to do Spirit Bomb, and he's not doing it, but man, he's busting out the B2 moves, so can't complain that much. Goku's doing a pretty impressive showing right now. Mm -hmm. And Goku, now he's charging up to maximum. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't try an angry Kamehameha from there. You will not hit it. But uh, what AI did you put on him? Tien. Uh, angry Kamehameha? Can no? Does it connect? It connects. It connects wow. for fifteen thousand points of damage, and this is an even fight again, folks. Look at this! Wow, it is even. Goku pulling out for his team. I mean, after an entire season of Goku just not showing up. Look at this. I think a lot of it has to do, I, um, oddly enough, with the power body. He can connect with his B2s. Well, hmm. Actually, I'm not so sure about that because most of his B2s have been his Kamehameha. Whatever the reason is, he's showing up today. Maybe it's just because it's the playoffs. Could be anything. And he um, tags out. I would personally uh, put my gambling chips on um, having it a TN AI because TN AI, though it may be random, is usually the most effective in using uh, B2s and ultimates. The, the, yeah, but the problem, like you just mentioned with the TN AI, is we put it on Goku earlier in the season and it did nothing. It did nothing. He was just absolutely unimpressive. So, but like you said, it is rather random. Maybe it's just a couple of weeks it didn't do well. And now it's back in the game. And can he take out Mecha Frieza before? Yes! Oh! Wow. Wow. That was close. I know. And we're still down by one bar, and Metacooler still has max energy. He could end this fight very easily. Yeah, but he still has to go through uh, Goku, who will also come back at full power. That is true. Back. That is true. Oh, here goes Supernova. And it connects! Ouch! For 15,000 points of damage, and Tien's already annihilated, and this is not looking good for Team Cold. That is an amazing... Uh, you, you mean your team, right? Well, I mean, yeah, for Team Earth Defenders. No! No, Team Cold's out of it, man. Yeah! Team Cold's out of it. You see how much my team has <laughs> lost? Good lord. And Tien... Yeah, show you power. Tien trying to put up a good struggle. He really needs to tag out. They really need to play to the advantage of having two people on their team so they can tag out with each other. Oh, but it doesn't look like he's gonna... 
get the chance. Mm. No. No. And now one bar of health uh, Goku has to take on almost full energy meta cooler. Yeah, I can still see him pull it off. Because um, he's, he's at his ultimate right now. Well, he connects with the Meteor Smash, which isn't going to do 15,000, but it will do... Uh... 9,000, 10,000 points of damage, so not bad. And he's charging good. up again. He needs, to take, he needs to take the time to charge up for his next move. That'd he, be the best option. And he needs to keep from getting hurt. Whew. That's what the whole charging up thing is about. Yeah. You know, if you just keep using B2s, you can pin the person down until they are dead. That is true. Is he going to do it, though? He's at full energy. He should be using a B2 right now. But he's just kind of flying around. Not going to win the fight this way. Welcome to the marvelous world. <laughs> <sighs> but Metacool is almost at no energy. Goku's got almost no health left. He grabs Metacooler. Meteor well, Smash. He connects. Uh, yep. But he doesn't have indignation though, so Cooler's still gonna have, so I'd say, about a bar, half a bar. But oh my gosh! He take that time to charge up, move up for his next attack, and then he can totally pull this out. Come on, Goku! No, no, no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my gosh. That was close though. <gasps> that was close. Wow, what a close, close fight. Uh, and on to round two. <laughs> maybe, maybe Earth Defenders can pull it out in this match. Maybe we'll go to three matches. <sighs> well, I can totally see your gambling personality show up. Like, next round. I can totally do it next round. <laughs> I got it, I got it, just lend me some money. I feel a heater. <laughs> but, um, I feel good though. Even if I lose this match, I feel good because I feel like my time wasn't wasted. I really think Earth Defenders did an outstanding job just then. Yeah. I mean, this is Team Cold we're talking about. This is a team that's dominated so many people. And it came down to half a bar of health. And let's see how it works this time. Truly incredible. It's... I wonder how the second match will go, honestly. Like, you've seen one... You, in the league, you almost never see the same fight redone again. That's true. Be an interesting, an interesting... <laughs> It'll be an interesting thing to see the... Uh, the these two uh, uh, best two out of three because you're right are we going to see repeat performances or are we going to see completely different types of matches i'm i'm gonna guess um different matches because all of these teams have the potential to win and they've pretty much been close for most of their matches oh destructo just hit but it only did five thousand because freezer was on the ground a lucky break nah. for team cold But Krillin did take the opportunity to charge back up with a great move on his part. Yes, yes he did. And it's still an even fight. Right now, Krillin would be in the lead uh, if Frieza wasn't on the ground. Now, I'm not going to call it a cheap move because it happens a lot that the character will be on the ground mm -hmm. and so they'll take less damage. It's just kind of a hazard of the sport. Um, but it was yeah. bad timing on Krillin's part, really, is what it was. Absolutely. And Frieza's starting to pull a little ahead. Nope. And he hasn't even transformed yet. That's not good. <laughs> nope. Come on, Krillin. Charge up. Do some command, man. Yeah, like that. Oh, no. He dodged it and counterattacked. Ouch. Ah. Devastating move it's from never Frieza. never really that good to try to do a... Uh a blast from that far away. Agreed, Maybe yeah. Maybe a rush, but that usually still doesn't help either. But sometimes Ooh. it hits. Krillin, you, you need to get out of there! <laughs> right, uh, Krillin rush... Tag. Rush is almost... I mean, a blast move from so far away, it's not gonna connect unless the other mm -hmm. player just kinda stands there and takes it. And down goes or Krillin. 
Ouch. Even when they're blind, they sometimes just dodge it. Right. <laughs> they just fly upwards. <laughs> yeah. And we need oh, another man. another great performance from Goku, or we're in big, big trouble. Like a spirit bomb right now would be nice. I would love one. Well, like this, right here, connects. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Can... Is is this like the first, second time he's done this For during the league? Sixteen thousand. Yes, I think so. Second or third. Sixteen thousand points of damage, and freezes almost dead. Can Goku knock him out before he transforms or tags or something? Yes! And freezes down. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Goku needs to... Uh -oh. I'm not even sure. This is a bad predicament. Oh, he oh. uses Death Ball right away. Ouch. Ouch. And gosh. And whatever whatever ground we just covered, we lost again. Good lord. That, that is interesting. Why was uh, Goku going lock on for that last bit. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, a nice meteor combo. And Goku is just performing really well tonight. I share your energy As he charge. Should, yeah. Full season. But, I know, uh, right? Now, this will be interesting. If he can pull off another Spirit Bomb after succeed, successfully getting a share of your energy, his Spirit Bomb will do 24,000 points of damage around there. Uh, one one give me your energy is 24,000, two give me your energy is like 33,000, and three is like 39,000. It's insane. Wow. That is... Oh, that's what I call Goku! Goku at maximum power? Is he gonna do it? Come on, Goku! Cooler at maximum power. Both of them at maximum power. Oh, that's not good. I wouldn't... That'd be great if they threw it at oh, the same no. time. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that'd be a nice battle, wouldn't it? Oh, Goku has no health yeah. left! Come on, Goku, fire it! Fire it! Oh, Goku Dagger dodges! Fire, Goku, Goku, fire no. it! No, a meteor combination. No, well, it still connects at least. It's not a spirit bomb, but it'll do some damage. He needs to tag out. If he can tag out, that'll be great. I love most of the frames I get. It was this like, weird shouty face when he punched him in the stomach. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess you couldn't see on my side, but man, is it entertaining. Each time you do meteor connection, you just see Goku's like... Giant eye, giant oh. mouth. Gosh. Uh, oh man, and Goku's down, but Goku I think Goku kept us in the game. We're only down yeah. by a bar right now. And not even and, that anymore. Uh, oh, D dot? No, he got no. it. He connected with he it. He got it. If Yamcha he can, can totally pull this out, um Wolf Fang Fist will probably uh well, not anymore. Anything could probably take him down by now. But, right. Um, man. Oh, he's Ooh. just at a sliver. He needs a tag. Yeah. No Co offense, but needs Cooler a tag. needs to tag. Actually, I don't think he does. But you know, if I were being an uh, unbiased commentator, I would say he needed to. <laughs> but I'm not. I am so not. I've never pretended to be unbiased in this. <laughs> I don't pretend that. Yeah. Nope. I would never be hired for a professional sports commentator. It wouldn't work. <laughs> you would know who I was going for. And then the loser team, I <laughs> guess, got a point. Whatever. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. And look at that. 16,000 points of damage. And oh my gosh. These it's, are really big ultimates. Yes, they are. Like, and I, so they hard to dodge. To increase that? No. Oh, man. And like, so... I can't even get to that with increases. And they're so difficult to dodge. They really are. You pretty much have to be really far away or use, you know, like Miracle Sparkling or something. It's just, it's, it's, it's a trump card. And, and, and Rebel has learned to use it really, really well. Oh, he's at max power again! So is oh, Yamcha. Good. Yamcha doing a Kamehameha and completely wasting it. Good job, Yamcha. 
I was gonna say, like, do a little thing with this? Maybe do two of them in a row? I would have been happy with the spirit ball. <laughs> I would have been happy with your ultimate. Yeah. You know, like, they've been throwing ultimates out all day. A right, Yamcha tag out. Tag out. Not That's not tagging out, and Yamcha's dead. And now it's up to Tien. Oh, man. Two on one. Man, I did not know Team Cooler had... Like, I knew they had strong players, but I did not think about it. Oh, man. No, I didn't realize it either until I started watching the videos this week. And, uh, man, I don't think... I honestly don't think we're going to pull this out. But I'm still happy. I think my team did a lot better than anyone expected them to. But it's not over yet. It's not over. Here's Neo Tribeam. Which has done... Some things in the past. Yeah, but he only fired once. Why? Why would he only fire it once? It does less damage than a normal tri beam if you only fire it once. Oh, Wait, did you do that again? Yes. Do you really? Do that again? Yes. Yeah. Not again, Tia. Uh, you know, if, if, he, if he keeps doing this, we're gonna have to try and put something on him to not encourage him to use his ultimate, because it's just hurting him. Yeah. He's charging back up to max power. So is Mecha Frieza. Don't give him the chance. Don't let him go max power. Oh, good job. Try try a Neo Tri-Beam and actually do it this time. That'd be nice. <laughs> no? Okay. I that's honestly fine. think just doing a, a, a normal one would be beneficial oh! at this point. Neo Tri-Beam! Oh my god! What? The fusion uh. slash knocked him out of the Neo Tribeam. And now Mecha Freeze is back at max power. This is not good. Mm. Oh, wow. I, I never do predictions, but I think Earth Defenders got this. <laughs> I got a feeling. I got a feeling. <laughs> Well, theoretically, if he could take Mecha Frieza out, he'd only be behind by two bars, and that's a big distance to cover, but it's not unsurmountable. Especially for what happens when the next person shows up. Uh, what's bound to happen. What yeah, do. never mind. <laughs> I keep forgetting about that. <laughs> Oops. And down goes Mecha Frieza. Maybe he'll dodge it? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that he'll dodge it. dodge it. Dodge it. Dodge it. Dodon Ray is not dodging. Dodon Ray, no. Medical, not you. You don't dodge. You stand there. <laughs> you stand there and you take it. Another Dodon Ray. Misses again. Oh, I think he was going to try and do his ultimate and Tien punched him. Oh my god, what a smart move by Tien to solar flare him to delay him long enough to not use his super. Brilliant move wow. by Tien! Well, I, now Tien has a chance. And unlike before. Ooh, come on, Tien! Another Kai Blast Cannon! Connects again! And we have an almost he's even battle! He's using his time wisely. Oh my uh, god! He should have been charging up at this point, but... We have an almost even fight! That's pretty impressive. Come on, Tien! I I think Metal Cooler actually got this. Sorry, sorry to say, his bars have enough to actually fire off another one of his. And Tien does not look like he can do his for a while. Uh, unless he gets some time to charge. A solar flare! Another solar flare. Tien okay. gets some distance. This is a perfect time! This is a perfect time to charge up! Tien's not charging up. Why isn't he charging up? No. I, I don't understand. You you prob do you have the Tien AI on him? Uh no, I have Frieza. Okay, because Tien AI sometimes drifts out and just starts flying around for no reason. Oh my God! But Tien's actually a little bit in the lead, and their power bars aren't that far apart. Never mind, they're even now. But still. <laughs> oh my yeah, it looks gosh. like he he can't fire off any of his uh, supers at this moment. The problem they break is off, yeah. The which problem is one of the. The problem is Metacooler doesn't have to charge, Tien does. Oh, Metacooler is... An android. Oh, uh, okay. 
Oh but my TN gosh. Looks like you might have enough to pull out. Come something. on, TN. I think two and a half has moves. Come on, TN. I don't on Ray. Yes. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Brilliant show by TN. Oh Absolutely my! Pulled that out of nowhere. Oh my gosh! And did I call it or did I call it? You called it, my friend. You called it. <laughs> oh my gosh! And we're going to a third round tiebreaker, folks. Wow! Just, just wow! Here it goes, folks. The third and final match. Who is moving on? Earth Defenders coming out of nowhere. No one thought my team was going to be a match. I mean, if, if you listen to the, the, the official Dragon Ball Z League podcast, no one thought Earth Defenders stood a chance. And look at this. Going to a third match now. This is for all the marbles. Tien. Wow, Tien. And, and remember what I said at the very beginning, we didn't do, know what, what to do with Tien. We didn't know because sometimes he was great and sometimes he wasn't and we were just hoping for the best. Talk about coming through for his team. Wow. Oh yes. Just, oh, I'm still on a high. <laughs> I feel like now, Man. even if we lose, I still feel really good. You, both the teams should feel pretty good. Nah, I think it, Team Cold should feel like losers. It doesn't seem like a, a derpy match at all. <laughs> no, it doesn't. They've been they, fantastic. Been, yeah. Looks oh. like neither one of the teams have been pulling their punches. No, yeah, As they... I say that, it looks like she was flying around like no particular reason. You know it's a he, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it is clearly a female. <laughs> Come on, Krillin! Come on, Krillin! You saw how the rest of your team performed! Do it like they did! Do it like they did! <laughs> Why did you ask so much of Krillin? <laughs> because I know he can do it! I know he's got it in him. Solar Flare! Nice uh, move from Krillin. What Krillin needs to do is a throw, or a counter. He did a throw. He did needs to charge up. Yeah. He's charging. Good. But good. he needs to keep Frieza from charging to maximum. That's not good. Oh, and Frieza dodges the Kamehameha. Oh. Ah. The Kamehameha. This is no good. So powerful when it hits, but you gotta hit. I mean, the Kame the Kamehameha is if it's charged up, it's as powerful as a, a as a low ultimate. It's 10, 11,000 points of damage right there. But you gotta hit with it. And it's so hard to hit with it. Did Frieza use her ultimate? Did no. she waste it? Nope, wasted it. He? He, he it, it. <laughs> Another Kamehameha uh. versus Death Beam. And the Death Beam connects before the Kamehameha comes out. And wow. Uh, Krillin's charging up again, though. Poor guy is not giving up. He's at max power. Destructo Disc. Will it connect? It doesn't Looks like connect. It does. No. What? All right. Here's the, here's I the move. You would... here, here, here's the deal. Here's the deal. When you first go to max power, you kind of have this explosion of energy, and any move that connects during that explosion of energy does no damage to you. And that's exactly what happened. Wow! But he completely missed with his ultimate. <laughs> Which is kind of hard to do. Yeah. But well, it, it was just a, a weird, uh, a weird um, angle. It was just a weird angle. It hit the ground instead of Krillin. Lucky break for Krillin. Yeah, I hate those angles. I really do. When your character just kind of flies up really high and tries to do a diagonal down, it just isn't yep. that much. Yeah. Come on, Krillin. Krillin needs to tag out. I mean, Frieza. He, Krillin's doing a good job, but Frieza's controlling this match. Krillin. Oh. Uh, no, Krillin doesn't have enough energy for another super. He needs to tag. Well, now he has the or energy for a super. But now <laughs> Frieza's beating the heck out of him. Oh my gosh. Krillin. Krillin? Tag. Krillin! No, down goes Krillin. Oh, Krillin! Why don't you ever tag? It's not that hard. Krillin don't want to tag. Apparently. Oh, and Yamcha misses with the Kamehameha. Ugh. Oh. But a Wolf Fang Fist, that connects! Okay. I love Wolf Fang. 
this. I know. I love it to death. The simple fact that you can throw one out right after a Kamehameha, which is such a, uh, a high cost move. Well, it's a three move. I, I'd seen uh, characters with four, and I call that high cost. Actually, like uh, Kamehameha is three and a half. Really? Yep. Huh. I actually, I think, I think, uh, I'm not sure on this. I think if you charge it, it's an extra half. If you don't, it's three. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. But and then that makes sense. But I've I've never actually tested it to make sure that's the case. Yeah, I just have to watch for flowers next time. Yamcha does have a lot of energy though, and Frieza has almost nothing. Yamcha could pull out a couple of Wolf Fang fists and catch right back up. Oh yeah, uh, Frieza doesn't look like he <laughs> is doing too well. Come on, Yamcha, Yamcha, Yamcha! Yes, Wolf Fang fist connects. I really do think that the power body is letting him connect a lot more, because if you notice, he's connecting with almost every single one. Mm -hmm. And in the now, past... I did notice that some rush moves actually connect before others. Like, sometimes a character is kind of have to rub against the body a bit while they... they yeah, them I've noticed that connect. too. And some of them kind of, like, have a good, like, space between them before they do their connection. Um, like... My character and uh, I think one or two begin you force have that, and I I can't remember anyone else who does. But they they connect kind of before they reach the uh, character, right? Which I've always found fascinating. Exactly how that happens. I, I don't know. Maybe the well, hit boxes are screwed up on certain characters, or. I, like, I wonder if it was intentional. That, that's kind of what I was thinking. Like, why the difference between characters uh, for, like, the timing of the rush move? Frieza going max power, 100%. Uh, Yamcha at max power. Yamcha could do a whole thing and just be over with this. Actually, I think Dumb he should end. save it, take out Frieza, and use the wolf. No, he's doing his ultimate at the worst possible time. And he connects with it, at least. At least he's being oh, flashy. <laughs> but, and I will totally hit with this. But he's at he's at a, a disadvantage now, because he's going to charge much more slowly. And Kula comes in with uh, Savior. If this was my team, and if I could, I would totally control him to tag out immediately. I know! Because I hate these points where you're just low, ridiculously low energy. And you have oh. a uh, negative energy And penalty. here comes Death Ball. Like, it connects, and down goes Yamcha. Yeah. And we are behind by a full man. That, that's no good. No, it's not. Goku, do your spirit ball, not meteor combination. Uh, gave you TN for a reason. Yeah, you know, I can't be that upset with Goku. He's been amazing so far. Oh, yeah. Uh, not in this match, though. <laughs> Cooler's slapping him around like a little kid. It's just young, though. It's, it's, it's just started. He just got on the field. Oh, mm -hmm. ouch. Ouch. And seriously, Goku has yet to touch Cooler. Oh my gosh! He's got some type Goku, Goku, what are you doing, man? I'm getting hit a lot. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. No, Goku, no! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'll get this. Ah! <laughs> uh. I can counter with my meteor combination. No, Goku, that's not Goku use the spirit bomb! Use the spirit bomb! There you go, fly around! Use his spirit bomb. No, that's not his spirit bomb! And he dodged it, he freaking dodged it, and he hit Goku. Oh my god. Wow. <sighs> well, let's see if Tien can take on three people this time. Tien <laughs> yeah, got this. <laughs> I got one eye on each of you. Go get him, Tien! <laughs> Go get him, Tien! Go show him what for. Kai Blast Cannon connects. You're my That's boy, good. Tien. 
I'm happy for him. <laughs> oh no, Cooler's going back up to max power. You know, last oh. match, Tien beat two characters with only two bars of health. He's got four bars of health now and three characters. That should even out. <laughs> how math works. It should be! <laughs> Everyone started out with four. No, no, no. It's how it should work. Oh, he, he didn't let Cooler use his ultimate. That's good. That is good. I, I dodged again. that one. Good job, Tien. Solar Flare to stun him. And a Kai Blast Cannon. Oh my gosh! And some nice combos from Tien here. Very good. Cooler transforms. Yes. <laughs> Death beam. Dote on Ray. Me. Yeah, see, that's how you use a beam. Good job, TN. Check out my beam. Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow beats purple. My oh. color is better than your oh color. Oh my gosh. It looks like... It looks like... Tien was about to charge into the beam and stopped himself. I've never seen that before. Usually they just charge into the beam like it's pretty colors. <laughs> They're like, wait a tick. I've seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> wait a second. This isn't a glow stick. <laughs> this, this is, is a hurt beam. <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> Don't touch it. It's a hurt beam. Solar Flare, and Tien's doing a nice job of taking Cooler out. He is doing a very good one-on-one -on -one fight. And Cooler tags out. Not a good move. I mean, a good move for them, a bad move for me. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good move. That was a poor decision on the opponent's team. <laughs> <laughs> really poor decision on the opponent's team. I don't know what they're doing. Honestly, if the opponents were smart, they would just stand there and take the beating that's coming to them. <laughs> They're just upsetting Tien. <laughs> oh. uh. Still, I have to say, Tien's given a really good show. Really good run for his money. Oh, yes. I wonder how many more soul fires he can pull out. I don't know. Probably. A Kai Blast Cannon connects. He is still doing well. He is. Whatever you did for this, this, uh, this match, or these but sets of matches, you might. I didn't. The... I didn't do anything to Tien. I left him exactly well, the same. Well, you should keep not doing anything. To <laughs> <laughs> I agree. You should continue to do nothing. <laughs> Actively do nothing as hard as you can. I will make sure every single week to go to the forums and change absolutely nothing. That's what I did. <laughs> Look at where I am now in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> Though, let's not talk about why that is. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Dragon Ball heroes. <laughs> oh. oh, the teams that didn't make it. Oh. At least they can root for their uh, division. And it looks like Metacooler might finish Tien off. Which, honestly, if you look at it, Team Cold soundly trounced us this match. A dote mm -hmm. on Ray. Tien not going out without a fight. And it is over, folks. Whew. Okay. Wow. So, Team Cold wins. Earth Defenders fall. Uh, Team Cold is going to go on to face the Androids. Uh, but who would have thought the Earth Defenders would have done so well? Man, really gave Team Cold a run for their money. Even if the last fight, it, the last fight was a trouncing. Uh, Mecha Freezer didn't even step on the field. I think the simple fact that they got to the last fight <laughs> was oh, amazing. Yeah. And the first two were close. They're practically ties. Yep. Well, on to the next round, folks. Hey, boys and girls, on to match two. The Ginyu Force versus Team Winner. <laughs> Team Derp. You know what? Maybe if you win the Super Bowl, maybe we should change their name <laughs> to the Team Winners. You have to. You have to promise me if we win the Super Bowl, 
We are going to be playing our anthem. <laughs> Hang on. All right, let's let's get it on. So, what do you think? You, you think you think this will go to three matches? Oh yeah, no, no. it's gonna be two. <laughs> I mean, we're totally gonna win both of them, all right? Yeah, I'm champion. I'm gonna do this two and zero. Uh, actually, I I I really do think your team has a chance to make it, but I think it's gonna go to three three rounds. Uh, they always have a chance, but it's slim. <laughs> slim every time. It can't be worse than my team's chance, and they were almost there. Almost there. Oh no, this is a bad start for my team. Right off the bat, Hurt, the lowest damaging person, goes against the Tate, the person that has the most amount of life, and I'm quite sure has health regeneration. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, he doesn't have health regeneration. He has ultimate body. Why would you do that against Hercule? You're wasting your points. <laughs> that is so completely true. He can't stun anyone what? anyway. <laughs> oh, he actually did 6,000 points of damage with that. That is, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I mean, Hercule can't stun a normal... He couldn't stun Goten. <laughs> Did you have, like, anti-plans or something? <laughs> what is going on? No, I think what it is is that uh, uh, it, they weren't building it to fight your team. They were just doing a, a generic, not a generic build, but sticking with the build that's kept them through the season. <sighs> Whew. Ouch. And Vakum is... Look at this! Three <laughs> power bombs in a row. <laughs> Hercule does not like. Hercule, use present. Hercule, Hercule, you, use your present. Come on, take your present out and give it to him. No, dynamic mess him up punch. Hmm, maybe a good move, maybe a bad move. It, it works. Eight thousand points of damage. Yep. Is he gonna tag like a champ? Nope. <laughs> Dude, oh no! Tag. And another power bomb. No, stop planting him. <laughs> and I know the fro looked like a bitch, but no. <laughs> <laughs> he really does think it's a vegetable. And down goes Hercule. Who's next? Cyborg Town. Hidden Blade. Oh man, if he had used his okay. ultimate right then. Yeah. I, I could see that hitting. Uh, Rakum, as I've seen, does not like to dodge. You know what? Maybe maybe Crow was thinking that Rakum was going to blow right through Hercule and he needed the ultimate body for everyone else. <laughs> Which wouldn't have been a bad That's guess considering what just happened. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> He's not, for one thing, he might blow through the other characters, but he completely missed my strategy from my characters. I go with supers. Yep. He, he, I'm not hand-to-hand -hand combat almost at all. For one thing. Second thing, you completely mismatched your starting character. Oh, and with, uh, Cyborg Tau just wiped the floor with Raccoon. Ah, uh, well, I do have to be worried about the other characters. Indeed. At least the, uh, the, the two speed characters, because they... They are the ones that are going to be doing all of the damage because, man, their rush moves and even their like normal attacks do so much damage. But uh, you make a very good point, and it was illustrated how Raccoon was wasted because Cyborg Tau wiped the floor out of him, uh, wiped, wiped the floor with him, and did almost no melee at all. It was just like three supers in a row. Mm hmm. He could have done really well if he. Um, place it pretty much on uh, health regeneration, uh, pretty much just to uh, skim through uh, Hercule, and pretty much just kind of have one man down kind of thing. Right. And and still do well against, or still do normally with the other characters, but he did not do that. He took the brunt of Hercule's attacks. Good lord, but Birder... Birder's not giving Tao a chance to do anything. Tao tags out early, actually. Wow. Oh, yeah. I cannot wait for uh, Little Pilaf to do really well in this. Because uh, I 
I'm quite sure that, um, well, he's not doing well right now. <laughs> I was going to say, no, go ahead, keep talking. <laughs> Computer's sure agreeing with you. Oh my god! The space mock attack beats the rolling ball? Well, that's the first time I've ever seen anything like that. Yeah. The perfect counter, but geez. I know, but Way I... To figure that Right, I, I, I would have thought that ball would have slammed through anything. Except maybe an ultimate. I guess now you know. Yeah. Now I do. And Birder is... This is... Actually, uh, uh, Pilaf is pretty good uh, melee-wise, but I guess uh, the other one is just that much better. Yeah, well, Birder, I mean, Birder is not a guy you want to take on in melee. He's so fast. Nice, uh, nice rock throw from Pilaf. And, uh, uh, false curve. You might not know this, and you might have figured this out throughout the season, but uh, False Courage gives you plus defense, as you can see, mm -hmm. but also gives you uh, uh, pretty much a wonder guard. It, it doesn't flinch from uh, blasts or normal attacks. Oh, so pretty much like Ultimate Body. Yeah, pretty much. For nice. a short time. Nice. And That's really neat for my team, because a lot of them... Uh, do that. Oh my gosh. And Birder has just torn through two people. I mean, finally Pilaf takes him out, and Pilaf should tag out. Well, he didn't burn through two oh, people, because yeah. uh, Tao tagged out early. Uh, yeah. And, oh. and <laughs> Cyber Tao did take off, what, two, two and a half? Of her, Bar, of, of her of her yeah. Fighting. Oh, and a nice tag out from Pilaf, and in comes uh, Cyborg Tau. Back full. Yeah. And that's a chance of using his ultimate. And an ultimate! Will it connect? Worldo was moving, so no, it does not connect. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Well, he used it at that's least. That's a terrible hit for Cyborg Tau. Yeah. When he uses it, he goes to zero. He doesn't just drop down to one. He goes to zero. And uh, with his uh, regeneration, he's not really going to be uh, coming back from that anytime soon. No. But uh, at least he's uh, kind of gotten this evened out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, ouch. Nice attack from Goldo. And, yeah, he uh, needs to check out again, but I don't think he's going to. Whew. No, he, yeah, he does! Good job! And in comes Supreme Kai! Which is uh, a perfect tag, sure. because I think Pilaf still needed more time. Oh, an ultimate from Supreme Kai connects! And down yeah. goes Goldo. Whew. Whew. It's turning out to be a tense match. Yeah, it is. And it's it's up to Jace now. Jace versus a fully charged... You're in the lead. By a lot, actually, because yeah. Jace has Halo. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm always confused when people use Halo. I'm, I'm sorry to bash Halo, but I, I've, if you looked at my forums, I pretty much said it very uh, bluntly. It takes too many points and has more weaknesses than strengths. But, but on certain characters, like last week... Now, now we have to find it consistent, but last week uh, you saw Goten use his headbutt assault ten times and connect, I mean, connect with it ten times, and he never could have done that without Halo. So, on the right, right character, Halo can tear people apart. Jace did fantastic last week with Halo as well. So, um, I think it's kind of a, a gamble. Oh, wow. Wow. And Supreme Kai just annihilated Jace. It looks like Team Derp got one win under the belt and still needs to go through that exact team again. Yep. Um... I'm right sorry now. to say, but I do feel kind of confident about this just because of the uh, other team's decisions and their batars. You, you think you think you're going to be uh, renamed Team Winners? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go that far, to be completely honest. But um, I, I'm, I'm confused by the picks of the other team. Like it was just not built uh, to go against my team. Well. A lot of, um, and, and, and we're going to try and promote this a lot in between the seasons, a lot of teams try and find one build and stick with it against any team they face, where, um, actually these first two matches are prime examples. I custom built 
the Earth Defenders to face Team Cold with Team Cold in mind, and you saw how much better they did. Uh, and vice versa here, the Ginyu Force is just not set up to deal with a team like Derp. And it's hurting them. Hmm. I, I don't think they really took Team Derp seriously, which I, I'm guessing probably because of their win-loss record. But th I set them up to be a good team. They're not going to go down without a fight. Right. And, and it's actually, as, as, as weird as it sounds, your win-loss record isn't that great, but it's not, you don't have that many, um, uh, what would you call it, uh, trouncings, where they just wipe the floor mm -hmm. with you. Yeah. Oh my gosh! What?! <laughs> what?! <laughs> I'm not even sure what happened! But it was awesome. Good job, Herc. Herc's like, Herc's like, yeah, that barrage is nice. Here's a present for you. <laughs> I got a present for you. <laughs> oh man, do I... Herc is... He's not doing well against, uh... Raccoon, but I don't... I don't think it's because of, uh, Raccoon's build. Maybe it's, uh, AI, but... Seriously, that... It does nothing to help him in this battle. He's got champion up. Herc back out. Yeah, he does. Another present bomb from Herc for 6,000 points of damage. Will he tag? Will he charge up to his ultimate potential? Oh. Oh. He's a tag out. I don't know if Raccoon's ah. going to give him the chance. Eraser gun misses a lucky break from Herc. He needs to tag out. Herc? Herc does need to tag no. out. No. No, sir. He usually does. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed at him. I really am. Now, uh, I will say to to uh, to play devil's advocate. I actually don't think. Um, like, I, I agree that the ultimate body on uh, Raccoon is a bit of a waste, especially against Hurt. But uh, mm -hmm. the Halo on Jace. I mean, it, week twelve, he was phenomenal with it. He was throwing super after super after super and connecting with most of them. This week, not so much. But you know, if if you were hoping for a repeat of performance, I can't really knock that strategy. Hidden Blade. Mm -hmm. Gosh, and Cyborg Tau, it seems like Raccoon just can't find an answer for Cyborg Tau. He should. He has his, his uh, ultimate power, which is pretty much his giant blast right. damage of... Oh, God. An eraser gun so much connects for 9,000 points of damage. Uh -huh. Not an ultimate, but still, 9,000 points is hefty. And they have a pretty good lead right now. A very good lead, actually. That is true. Oh, wow, nice combo from Cyborg Tower to finish off Raccoon. That's a, that's a, a good thing about... Tag. Tag. <laughs> that's a really good thing about Cyborg Tau and Tien and, and characters with those beams. Um, most of the time, you don't want to use a super to finish someone off, because even though it will finish them off and you can be sure it will, it uses so much energy. But those small beams, you can be sure it'll finish them off, and it doesn't use that much energy. So it's almost like no. a safe move. You know what I'm saying? Like when they get to half a bar, it's like a uh, you yeah. almost don't want them to use a super because it'd be a waste of uh, power. Yeah. But uh, that those those beam moves are actually a good a good efficient move. It'll it'll finish off the character and it won't waste a lot of energy to do it. Wow, nice move from Supreme Kai. Oh yeah, he's he's doing great combos right now. Um. Oh also, my gosh. Uh, Oh, this, this is, is what we saw in like week one. That's exactly what I was about to say. This is the same Supreme Kai we saw at the beginning of the season. And I'm seriously surprised at Jace. I, if I was the other team's captain, I'd be furious with him. I'd be like, pull out more supers. Yeah, I mean, gave you what gave he's the thing to do. Gave you Halo for a reason. But, yeah, it and it's just not helping in this situation, which is no. absolutely frustrating for a uh, team leader. Right. But also, the team leader needs to figure out balance. Like, if your uh, moves are literally just, like, two bars to, to begin with, and you want to reduce it to one, uh, like, average of using your move and how much energy you have, like, you're, you're still going to have energy left over, basically. Right. And, Halo, uh, Halo, Halo is really good for... Um 
So people like maybe a Rayleigh that have a four bar super. They'll cut it down to two. Right. Mm hmm. Ooh. Wow, Jace is finally starting to fight back. Ah, a little too late, though. Yeah. It, it's, 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 I understand what you mean. It's got to be so frustrating because to look at that performance, you would not believe that Jace was at the top of the league for, God, four or five weeks? I mean, he was like the number one player of the entire league. He was just phenomenal. And to look at this performance tonight, you wouldn't see that. <sighs> I'm... As a coach, that gets frustrating when <laughs> their team doesn't use their build to full full use. It it's 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 the kind of the worst feeling you get, where you just yes. kind of like, I built you to do this, and you don't do it. Yes, is absolutely terrible. And 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 um, sadly, I think almost every single team, except maybe like the Androids. <laughs> no, I'm sure even them. <laughs> But every team has felt that. I know there have been so many times like, oh my god, Tien and Goku this season. Oh, just the disappointment, especially Tien. It'd be like, you give him a build and he's not losing because of the build, he's losing because he's just constantly facing the wrong direction. Or something. And you're like, <laughs> come on! <laughs> you're literally staring at a cliff face while he's pounding you with a, a you know, a beam weapon from behind. It's just not... It's not, do you see how I added the beam weapon there to make it not sound bad? Yeah. Quick mm -hmm. thinking on my toes. <laughs> but beam yeah. Weapon. Because <laughs> because I mean everyone's I, I know I know every single team at some point has gone to their forum after the week and gone WTF. You know what the hell was that? Oh yeah. Well have you seen my form? <laughs> Except yours. <laughs> yours had like like two months of silence. You're doing perfect. Go Hercules. <laughs> your 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 form was silent for like two months, and then an explosion of uh. Which, by the way, your uh, your uh, partner in crime is here in the chat. Awesome. Indeed, indeed. So he, he can he can share in the glory. One of uh. I, I, I have to say, um, it's really good to see that more and more people are starting to watch Dragon Ball Z League because the teams, every team now has at least one or two people, you know, that really mm -hmm. put effort into the team. And that's a really great thing to see um, because Dang. it used to be only a couple teams like the Super Saiyans and the Androids had uh, people building it. And you'd have teams like... Uh, um, you know, like Team Derp or Earth Defenders, who had one person. The Blades, actually. Oddly enough, you know it's weird? The Blades, I think, only have... Uh, they don't really have anyone helping build them, unless someone's come in the last week or so. And they were one of the most popular picks for the new teams. Everyone wanted the Blades, and no one became a fan! <laughs> I, I, I know the feeling. <laughs> Right, I this think that was the same thing with uh, Team Derp, actually. Well, but well, see... I, well, was I the second? Right. With, with Team Derp, yeah, Team Derp was actually... I think Team Derp was actually one of the, the top ones, if not the top one. But the thing yeah. is, I kind of understand it. People wanted Team Derp because they wanted a team to laugh at, not because they really wanted to cheer for it. You know what I mean? Um, no, I'm not saying everyone. I'm saying the average person. They just thought, they just thought, oh my god, this will be so funny to watch them fail. And then the first week... <laughs> <laughs> that, oh. that was like the first thing that I thought. I'm like, it's going to be a joke team, but it's going to be fun. <laughs> and then you see that first week and you're like, I have something here. I really have something. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, I'm not going to make it easy on them. <laughs> After they start bidding me F those guys. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, the Blaze, I thought it was, oh my god, and 2-0. and 2-0. Oh. Two and oh. Two Team Derp has pulled out from. I. Oh I was surprised. God. Like I'm. I'm not surprised at the outcome. I'm surprised at the build that was faced against my team. I am wow. Baffled wow. Right now. It's 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 a clear indication that um that teams all coaches really need to start looking at matches on a week by week basis. Look at who you're facing and look at your build and adjust it accordingly. Uh, unless you're you're just an unbelievably strong team, the same build every single week is not going to get you anywhere. 
Look what about my team, man. <laughs> I, I, I hate to say it, but uh, the the coach of uh, the Ginyu just told you that you weren't going to win any more matches. Oh, and, yeah, I remember that. And, well, they kind of didn't win any more matches. You're not going to win any more matches tonight. <laughs> All right, folks, on to match three. On to match three of the first rounds of the playoffs of Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi League. One of these days, I'm just gonna like just keep adding of the the because the in the when uh, like for five minutes, you guys, you guys inside will, the biodome. <laughs> you guys will uh will completely like just stop watching by that point. By the way, also while we're recording, I want to throw this out there. I. I'm going to start a new thread, unless someone else starts it. Someone else can start it if I don't get to it in time. Uh, on the general discussion, which is going to be ideas to change the league. Any ideas you might like to change the league. I am not saying... Let me be very, very clear on this. When it comes to changes in the league, only the staff have a say, which is me, the commentator. Basically, you know, if you can see the form that says staff, you have a say. Um, and this is only because we don't want to... It's not that we you know, think we're better than everyone, but I have to keep it to a reasonable number of people. Otherwise, nothing will ever get done. But that doesn't mean we don't want to hear what everyone thinks or, you know, because, you know, even, the, even a new fan who's only been following this a week could have a really good idea that none of us thought of. So basically, I'm going to open up a thread. Anything, if you think uh, maybe home arenas... Uh, which is an idea that's been thrown around in the past. I don't really see it working. But anything you can think of, throw it out there. But make sure you put a reasoning of how it could work. Like, don't just say, I think they should have home, or home stadiums. Because you would have to explain how you think this would actually work. Because as far as I understand, home stadiums would be not good. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, it's just an example. Um, but any ideas you think that it would either make it more interactive or that would change it in some way, throw it into the thread. And we, the staff, will take a look at the thread and then we'll throw any ideas that we think look pretty nifty into our deliberations when we talk about how we're going to absolutely uh, confuddle you guys for Season 3. I mean, we're going to like make everything reversed. The, the stream will be upside down. It's crazy. We're going to make so many changes. <laughs> You're going to be listening to it backwards. <laughs> yes. We thought it was pretty good just because everyone really wanted to know who lost first and they can watch it backwards. <laughs> Here we go. Match th run of round th one of the... Wait. One of the first of the end of the quarterly. Of the, of the, <laughs> the first of possibly three matches between the Super Saiyans and the Valkyries for a chance to face the top ranked team in East Kai? West Kai. South Kai. South Kai. I think this is South Kai. It's a Kai. It's one of the Kais. I, I, I am a good commissioner, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I know my Trust league. Me, you're lucky. Good hands. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is exactly what I was talking about. That right there. That ping was taken out by a simple punch. Power body fixed that. Because half of Yamcha's moves were being taken out like that. I think my favorite one to see is somebody grab somebody out of this. Yes. <laughs> yes, those are awesome. Grab move, and it just so happens to link up with what they were doing. Like, it, it could not have been timed for, like, more poorly. Do, 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 I, I, think do, I, do. I think I can reason with that. Um, when, when somebody tries to do grab and somebody immediately does a backflip and to one of their crushes, a grab might actually be at the same time. Ah, I see. And Vegeta is indulging in child abuse. I'm sorry. Look, I know Aureli is an absolute monster, but she's just the cutest little thing and you're beating the crap out of her. And she's smiling too. It's so wrong on so many levels. <laughs> I mean, have you ever looked at her face while she is getting pummeled? I mean, her eyes are closed, she's smiling, she looks like the happiest little girl in the world. Look at right now she seems content to just run into a wall. <laughs> wow. I have oh, to Oh my. 
I have to say, Vegeta is doing a really good job against Rayleigh. Yeah. He's pretty impressive because Rayleigh is not a. It's oh not my an gosh! Easy match. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, <laughs> uh, Rayleigh tags out right when Vegeta does the super. 18 sees it, tries to run away, and gets hit. She's like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> not this to get up. <laughs> She's like, I'm on the floor. Oh god, no. <laughs> so not our Halo. I'm surprised so many people are, are going Halo in their last matches. And so many being, uh, what was it three? Is she Halo? I did not realize she was Halo. Hmm. I mean, obviously I made the team, but still. <laughs> no, she's not Halo. What's going on? How is she a life bar down then? Oh, because she got hit by Vegeta's ultimate right at the beginning. Or oh, not his okay. ultimate, his, his super. <laughs> yeah. His super. I'm just there going, but she's not on Halo. I didn't put her on Halo. I'm sorry, my screen is so glitchy. It just looked like she came out with... Oh my <laughs> gosh. And 18 is getting <laughs> trounced. And I just realized... I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I was going to say, I just realized this is the second time in the league someone has done this to 18. Tagged out just so she could get a super right in the face. Like, literally, after Vegeta started the super, Aureli tagged out, and 18 could do nothing but just eat it. <laughs> and Cell did that uh -huh. to her in Season 1, and poor 18. <laughs> this, this, is, this is almost heartbreaking, like... I have never seen the Valkyries do this poorly, ever. I know. But they have two more matches, possibly. It's not over. This is why we're doing best two out of three for the playoffs, because just in case you're having a really bad match, you have a chance to come back from it. Mm-hmm. Videl's doing well so far. Mm-hmm. Maybe the Super Saiyans just made a really good build. Or it could be luck, or a bit of everything. <laughs> or, yeah. Choose from any. Make it be so many things. Maybe it's just, uh, the playoffs. <laughs> the honestly, honestly, though, I've always felt that, um, that they should be a much stronger team than their record shows they are. I mean, they have really good characters on their team with some really good moves. And I've always been surprised that they're just uh, a mid-tier team, you know? Yeah. Well, from from their win-loss record. Right, exactly. Well, I mean, I, I generally go by the win-loss record because in the end, that's really what matters, is your win-loss record. If you fight every single fight and bring them within two hits, every single fight, but you lose them, you still lost. Nice attacks from Which Videl. True. It that's to uh, to show who who's generally better uh, in a very wide sense. But right. You really have to look at look at everything. Oh, like true. Each and every single fight, each hit, each move, how the character moves. It, it's definitely and, true. And uh, it, a win loss record is by no means a end all be all list of who's good and who's not. But, sadly, it is what we go by to decide who advances. <laughs> so, which, is not, which is bad. I'm not going to say that's bad, but... Um, it, the win-loss thing... Sometimes it's just bad luck. Sometimes right. the opponent really just did beat you down. Uh, from uh, Maybe they just pulled out some amazing moves. Well, the hope is... Uh, and, and of course, it's just uh, it's 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 open to uh, what error, I guess is what you'd say. But the hope is that by yeah. having 12 matches in a season, that your win loss record should have a fairly decent reflection of about how good of a team you are. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of it too, just like in a real sports league, a lot of it too also depends on your opponents. I mean, like for example, let's take uh, American football. Some really good teams can have really poor win-loss records just because they're facing really tough opponents again and again and again. 
So, yeah. I mean, yeah, so you're absolutely right. Win-loss record is not everything. It could just be, you know, a team could be 0-5 and, and still be a really good team. It's just that they were facing really tough teams. Yeah. So. And, gosh, I think the Vals are coming back. I, I think they're still behind, but uh, they, they might pull mm -hmm. this off if Fascia does a really good job. If Fascia goes all TN and on their ass. <laughs> You just had to hope. Yep. You, you hope she can at least take Trunks out. He's only got one hit left. The energy balls his way. There, there you go. Just a knee to the face. Actually, that's kind of insulting. <laughs> just a knee to the face. <laughs> oh gosh, his ultimate. Connects. Oh, this is the uh, dodge. Ouch. Honestly, I have to say that's the first time I remember his ultimate actually connecting. I, I did see it once before, his first time he used it. No, 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 I mean, I've seen him use it before. I've never seen him connect with it before. Yeah, I, I've i seen him once oh. connect with it. Hmm. And that was the first time he used it. Huh. You mean season one? I think so. Ah, I, I, that's a long yeah, time ago then, yeah. <laughs> Oof. This, this does not look good no, for the Valkyries. No, it does not. They can, they can still pull it out. I, I wonder if she can go ape in this uh, landscape. No, um, it has to be a nighttime landscape. Uh. The only way she could go ape is if someone destroys the landscape, which I don't know if any of the Super Saiyans have that ability. I don't think so. Wait, isn't this the last two characters? Yep. Last two- wow! Yeah, last two characters. I thought Super Saiyan still had someone, but no. So we have an even fight right here. I- gosh! Yeah. How did that escape us? <laughs> I don't know. I'm like... Super Saiyan's got like one or two guys. Yeah, like, Super Saiyan's got further. this! No, they don't. It's an even, even fight. And you, I can kind of understand, because you have some lag. I have a crystal clear picture, and it escaped me. <laughs> I'm like looking under his his picture like there's no one under that there you know it's not the first time there have been entire like matches where uh what was it there was once uh, the earth defenders versus team muscle where I thought I had that and then like another player pops out I'm like oh right <laughs> I was all happy I was like we did, it, we did it oh look here comes Brawly I forgot yeah. he was still there <laughs> I remember that one. Yeah. That one if, so. she, if she can connect with this. No! Ouch! But a nice comeback oh, by oh. the Vals. Yeah. And uh, the Super Saiyans go one up. And let's see if the Vals can turn this around in match two. Look, look at Vegeta do some push-ups. Oh, oh, he did one. He did one push-up. Good job, Vegeta. Good work, Vegeta. You <laughs> did one. I mean, look at her. She's so happy, even when she's getting pummeled. I, I wish, I wish she was on Team Derp. She has a spirit of Derp. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> she completely does. And some people would say that, uh, you know, she looks so happy when she's getting pummeled, that means she likes it. No, I think she just doesn't realize what's going on. I think she doesn't understand that these are violent people. <laughs> I think she I thinks I would like to they're... clarify before Snowy gets upset or jumps to conclusions. I am not trying to steal a Rayleigh. I do not want a Rayleigh. She is part of your team. I do. You can. You have her. I'm not going to try to take it from you. I am. She's a defender of the earth. She's mine. <laughs> uh, no, no. I don't think I'm ever going to change anyone on my team. Just because I I love the idea that Krillin, Yamcha, and Tien finally get to do something that they never got to do in the show, which is compete. <laughs> you know? Well, they did it in... Well, that was in Dragon Ball Z. No, it was Dragon Ball. They did in Dragon Ball. Krillin... Yeah kind of got a moment. Okay, they kind of got their moment in the sun at the beginning of Dragon Ball Z, but really, they still got their butts kicked. 
It was well, basically like... kind of did the same thing in, um... What was it called? Frieza. No, not the Frieza. In, uh... Gosh. Oh, gosh. The Boo Saga, right at the beginning of the Boo Saga, they had another tournament, and he was signed up for it. Pro proving again that he's actually pretty powerful. Oh, yeah. At least oh. in compared to humans. Oh, when he beat the big guy. Gosh, and Vegeta takes down Rayleigh again! Which wow. Is, I'm not understanding this. I I do not compute. <laughs> yeah. That's... wow. Good lord. Vegeta is just pulling out the stops tonight. Which is pretty impressive. I, I have to see what their uh, build is. Uh, I can tell you right now. In fact, Yay. I'm gonna st I'm gonna start doing this. I'm gonna leave the builds up, um, cause I have a little sheet that has all the builds, uh, so that we can look at it. It's Cell AI with launch support, indignation, lightning energy, and Sirius. Hmm. That sounds familiar. I don't quite remember lightning energy. Um, I think that honestly, I don't remember what that does. I think that's the I think that's the defense one. Um, you might be right. Yeah. Oh, and down goes Vegeta, finally. An odd combination. I guess they're really hoping for, um, Melee to beat out. Yeah, he did really well at Melee. I mean, honestly, he was tearing a Rayleigh apart with, uh, his Melee, which is very strange because a Rayleigh is, is, she's not a brick wall, but she's really good in Melee combat. Which is kind of funny. It just shows the, uh, the, the the differences between the computer versus computer. If you look at the stats for Rayleigh, you know, if a human plays her, her melee combos <laughs> are really bad. But when it's computer yeah. versus computer, she's... I mean, she almost always dominates in melee combat. Yeah. Because she does so much damage. She doesn't even need to do that much to yep. actually do really well with it. Oh my. Oh my. My. Do, 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 so do. It looks like, um. Looks like Goku has the same. Is that oh wow! That's, That's Goku. Wow, uh, Goku tried to Kamehameha and Videl knocked him out of it with the high speed rush, and now we have an even fight, folks. Videl managed to catch her team up. Good job, Videl. Yeah. She was, uh, the I weak link. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think in the past couple of weeks they've really built Videl up into something, uh, into a competitor, which um, I I I've again have to point out. Some people uh, think that you know the the builds don't make that big of a difference, but they really do. I mean, look at my team. Yeah. <laughs> or no, perfect example. Look at Team Cold. Team Cold was absolutely horrible in season one. Horrible. And oh, they were yeah. one of the top ranked teams this season. And the only difference is is the build. Because Medical was in season one and they didn't do that much better. <laughs> it it was the custom build. Ooh, a tag out. Ooh. And uh, spamming ultimates like like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> May I know the uh, the the builds for these two team uh, two teammates? Uh, Gohan versus uh, Fasha. Yep. Gohan! Team Gohan is Krillin AI, Launch Support, Indignation, Savior, and Sirius. Whereas Fasha is... Wait, did you say Launch Support, Sirius, Indignation, and... Hang on. Uh... Okay, okay that was the up. fist one. I was about to say, that's like the exact same one I have. Yeah, Indignation, Savior, Sirius, and Launch Support on Krillin AI. And Fasha, let me get back down to her, is Broly AI, Savior, Unleash Key, Sirius, and Dinde's Healing. Hmm. Not not particularly too bad of a build on either side. No. It's 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 I, I can't find it's what too we much. what I like to refer to as a safe build. It's a build that doesn't have a lot of weaknesses. You know, like there's experimental builds like Power Body or Halo, and then there's more safe builds like those where 
pretty much anyone's gonna do better with that build. Maybe not their full potential, but you can't really go wrong with that kind of build. Yeah, I can, I can see that. If you really want to be a, a risk taker, you you would probably go for something right. a bit more like a, a one shot thing. I mean, like for example, so. if if someone wanted to, they could put indignation, serious fighting spirit. Uh, Latin energy and savior on someone, and you'd have a pretty decent character. Mm -hmm. Now, again, like I said, you might not have a top tier character, but you're gonna have a pretty decent character, no matter who it is. Those I have, are I have a, a pretty uh, similar build with all of my characters, as maybe people have noticed if they took a gander in the dirt. Before. Oh my gosh! They felt like it. Trunks is ultimate. Wow. Pretty. Don't see that often. <laughs> no, no, you don't. <laughs> Here comes 18. Hopefully she can. Uh, yeah. Hopefully she's. Hopefully she's bonus. pissed and she wants some payback. Because poor, poor she 18. <laughs> She hasn't been using her ultimate lately, which is unlike her. Yeah, actually. Like, even when I found her, I think. Oh, a nice explosive wave. Have... Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll get into um, the, the, the Gohans, basically. But, um, the, the, ex the explosive wave thing. Um, uh, but, I, as I remember, she almost used her ultimate every single time she came out. I'm surprised she did not do that. Yeah. Well, she's almost at max energy. She might have a chance. Uh, by the way, the Gohans aren't playing tonight. They're out. So, oh. yeah, there's no point in saving okay. for the Gohans. This is actually their division well, right here. <laughs> I, I was going to say I, I practically counted the Gohans out, which on, on reflection... Yeah, but um, I I was really behind them once I found out that they had a explosive wave of any kind. Right. Those moves hit. Oh no 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 no! Rarely do they miss. Super explosive wave. You got you got to realize there's a difference. Explosive wave is a blast one defensive move. Super explosive wave is a blast two offensive move, which is what you're talking about. Yes. Now, there's also ultimate kinds of these. That's what, right. that's what I was talking about. The, the Blast 2 and Ultimate versions of this. Oh, wow. There's also the explosive wave that defends you. And but, uh, the Super Saiyans take the vowels out in 2-0. In, in and oh, Wow. And remember, I was just saying that I thought the vowels had the advantage, but it could have gone either way. And man, did it go the opposite direction. I'm just as surprised as you are. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Oh, man, uh, you know what it is? It's it's the league trying to keep us from being able to guess what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, we'll see you in the last uh, match. <laughs> Welcome to the third attempt of the last matches of the night. <laughs> the uh, first of the last of the. Oh my the gosh! The or dual. Match. I don't need I, to know. I, I, uh, yeah, yeah. After like months of not screwing up the builds, I screw up two characters in a row, so we have to <laughs> restart this. So, uh, short Team Majin versus the Rugrats. Yeah, at least uh, we caught it early enough that there was no clear, you know, lead one way or the other. Honestly. Um, so, yes. Especially let's... the first time. Wow, that was like no time in comparison to the second one. It was like <laughs> almost all the way through the match. <laughs> uh, you mean all the way through the menu screen? Oh, that, that's what I meant, sorry. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> all the way through the menu screen. <laughs> um, so anyway... Uh, we almost start by... Hang on, I need music. Psh, music. So, uh, anyway, Piff, you were uh, going to talk about... Yes, the interesting and almost completely like it just boggles my mind why why this decision was put in. I'm trying to puzzle it out, but let me inform the audience first before I continue. 
Team Majin's captain has put was it power body? Yep. On every single character. All four of them have a four point Batara. Which uh, makes you uh, hard to stun through melee attacks, but minus one defense. Now for the the newer people or the people who have never heard of Bataras and what four points mean, each character gets five points to play around with and do whatever they want out of a select amount of Bataras. So four is almost all of them, and then you have to choose a one point Batara afterwards. You yep. don't get too much. So, uh, this is an incredibly risky build. Um, now, my thinking is, if there is a method to the madness, so to speak, that since the Rugrats are all kids, maybe their stun, their ability to stun an opponent is already low because they're not big characters. So, by upping it with Power Body, you're making sure that you're an absolute brick wall in melee combat. And then, um, most of the characters have, like, TNAI, which focuses a lot on melee. So my guess is he's going to try and just completely overpower them in melee combat. We'll just have to see if okay. it works like that. I'm going to check um, a... I'm going to check what it, the, the power body actually does in its full, because we had this, uh, this little, little small argument about uh, how much defense it gives. So I remember um, Ivory Mask testing out, uh, testing out Power Body or Wonder Body and showing that it does actually do less damage when somebody tries to hit them. Um, so I'm going to try to pull that, not that video, but the actual Batara to see if it does or decrease damage. I don't remember that, but... Yeah, it should, uh, according to... Because it's in the negative effects. So, it should be a negative... And Pan tags out, which is a smart move by Pan. Um, it, it, it should decrease your defense by one. Even if that, like, you really have to look into it, like, how much... How much it changes. Right. Well, actually, I like, did do, um... I did... Uh, blah. did some um, stats work on defense ups and downs. Um, it doesn't change it that much. I think it's only a drop of like 5%. So in other words, out of a thousand points, it would do an extra 50. You know what I mean? Out of 10,000 points, it yeah. would do an extra 500. So it's not that great of a drop. I I'm not positive on that. I did the stats and I have it recorded somewhere on the forums, but I'd have to look at it mm -hmm. again. Yeah, it doesn't look like it will do much, to be honest. Like, a, a minus or plus defense, at least in my opinion. Right. Uh, now, if you had, like, plus 3 defense, I think that's, like, plus 15%, which that can make a sizable difference, because if you have a plus 15% uh -huh. defense, you're talking about for every 10,000 points, you only do, like, what, 8,500? Something like that. Mm-hmm. And that can add up pretty... Right. Pretty well. And Trunks is doing a pretty so good job against character. Spopovich. Yeah. And Spopovich tags out. Wow. Really smart move. Spopovich had very little health and a negative to charging. Uh, he might still have the negative charging, unless that was the one that uh, decreases or gets rid of either over time or when he gets too full in his bar, which would be either one, honestly. Right. So he, he probably has that all. And uh, let's see how Debora does with the power body. I mean, you expected Spokovich to do pretty well with power body. That's, I mean, that's a pretty understandable build. But Debora, Debora almost always concentrated on his supers. I mean, those were his heavy hitters. So power body, I don't know. I, I just don't know. We'll have to see. Hmm. I know. I know you're thinking that it's it's an insane build. I'm. I'm going to try and reserve judgment until I see how it works. <laughs> I... I... It's... It should be straightforward, but... I mean, he put it on all of his characters. Yep. I'm not sure exactly what he's trying to... To accomplish... Prove... I, I don't see any... Uh, gain from such a and, odd build. Well, Devorah takes down Trunks. Well, he is in the chat. Perhaps he will explain it. Most likely not. This seems like 
I'm, I'm, I'm not going to divulge my thoughts because it might be correct. I, I, I'm only jumping to particularly one conclusion and, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to go, well, this is his master plan. <laughs> And uh, GT Goku's doing not not that bad. Kamehameha. Is it going to connect? No, it missed because he bounced. Wow. <laughs> Charged up way too long. <laughs> I love it. He bounced and missed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. The, the lag literally cut off all of the shot. Did it literally just bounce and then zoom like right under him? Yeah, well, yeah, kind of it hit where he bounced from. Like, he bounced away. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought he, like, kind of hopped over it by accident. No, 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 no. It just, it just kind of, it just kind of, like, he hit the ground and bounced, and where he hit, bounced from, the Kamehameha hit. Oh, wow. Nice, uh, gosh, I forget what that movie's called, even though the name was literally right Jumbled. on the screen. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I do that so much, like, I'll, I'll be looking at the pretty flashy lights and not the name. I am such a great this commentator. This amazing... Oh, God, what's it called? The great amazing ball of red death thing! <laughs> That's not the name. Shut up! The evil bouncy ball. Well, I have to say, so far, Deboer is doing really well. He took down Trunks, he's uh, got GT Goku down below his own health. Indeed. Maybe there's something to Power Body? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe? He's definitely winning in the melee combat. But I think he did a lot of his damage through supers, like he normally does. A solar Flare. Makes uh, Spopovich lose target. Oh, new. No. This is the worst kind. You know, it's funny. Almost all, like, basically when an AI tries to, like, when they get solar flared and they try to escape it, it's like they usually they just fly upwards, and it almost always works. <laughs> <laughs> it almost always gets them out of the danger because the, the computer AI won't chase them. Not all the time, but it's a very effective defense. <laughs> And down goes GT Goku. He didn't transform into Super Saiyan 4. He always has that potential. Yeah. Sort of. I wish he would do it. Oh, a Kamehameha takes down Spopovich. It's nice to see one of those hit. Oh. <laughs> and uh, DeBoer's hmm. back in. No, wait. The board. Yeah, he's back in. I was like, did he leave? Yeah, he left. Spopovich was I in there for such that. a brief. Huh? I, I, I saw a glimpse of this, and I'm not quite sure if this is. If this is even possible, but it looked like when people are trying to do rush moves, uh, Power Body was just not letting them do it. But that was that might be just something I'm not seeing because of the lag. Like somebody got hit out of the move or something like that. Um, I would have to re-watch it, but I don't see Power Body... No. I don't think even Brick Wall Effects, unless you're a giant, uh, uh, a Blast 2 will always connect unless you block or punch or something. I, I don't see yeah, Power Body or... Yeah, only works on giants. Right. Power Body's Power not going to stop it from connecting. I mean... Because literally, that would make it ineffective completely. Yeah. It's not like Power Body works sometimes, so... And here comes Goten, and he's already starting to spam his assault. Well, that's good, because he has Halo Hawk. Yep. And uh, we were talking earlier about you, you, you not liking Halo at all, and I still hold firm to the fact that on the right characters, it can be devastating. Like thus. Yeah, sort of. Um, I still think it does more harm than help. Sometimes characters do need that that help. Sometimes, but 
Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what I'm showing right here. He can he can do super after super, and Goten loves to do it. Uh, I agree with you that it's a heavy price to pay. It really, really is. But if 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 Goten can have um, weeks like last week on a consistent basis, the damage output far outweighed the loss in health he got. I mean, he connected with 10 supers. I counted them. That's insane. Hmm. Wow, so nice dodge. Been four and it worked well. Interesting. Yeah, it, uh, week 12. In week 12, he, uh, I actually counted it because it was, it just seemed like so many. So I, when I rewatched the match, I, the, he connected with nine assaults and one bombardment thing. And, I mean, if you think about that, that's almost 40,000 points of damage right there. A little over, I think. Bam. And I think this is the third assault he's connected with already. Third or fourth. He's still going with the next one. Yep. At and another assault. Using it. Another assault. What Look at AI? that. It's def default AI. Uh. Which is why I'm thinking, like, Goten's just made for Halo. I mean, look at this. Oh wow, after image. But, it, I don't think it's going to help too it, much. But. Because I just realized Goten's the last character. Yeah. I don't know, maybe there's something to this power body. Bobbity hasn't even stepped out on the field. Maybe. Mm. Or maybe it was other things that did it. Who knows. And down go the Rugrats, the commanding win from the Majins. But it's not over yet, folks. The Rugrats have a chance to fight back. It, I'm, I'm wondering uh, if they're going to be able to... Uh, if they lose this match, there's only going to be one uh, match tonight that went to, three to, went to three matches. Yeah, and that was your first... Yeah, it was my boys. <laughs> what? Wow. Uh, Pan just said, how dare you beat up my mom, and Spopovich asked if she liked special treatment. I don't... what? <laughs> Was he hitting huh? on Pan? I don't understand. Well... <laughs> let's see... Does Gohan's daughter... Beating up a mom, there was the Videl. whole episode that he was absolutely crushing her. Yes, oh my god, was he. That was, uh, my friend and I once raided, not all of them, but like the, our most brutal looking fights in DBZ series. Number two was when Frieza beat the crap out of Vegeta, like when right before he killed Vegeta, because it just went on forever. <laughs> and the number one worst, uh, just crushing beatdown was when Spovich defeated Videl. Which was odd because comparative to everyone else, their powers weren't that great. It was just Videl wouldn't stay down. <laughs> but oh man, that was like I said, one of the one of the the I'm not gonna say best fights in the in Dragon Ball Z, but definitely one of the hardest to watch. <laughs> oh, Majin Buu Resurrection, his ultimate! Connects! Now, if Bobbity fires an ultimate, this will be really bad news. <laughs> that would be really bad news. Like, no joke, this would be absolutely horrible. Unless you're the Majins. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 if you I, get hit by it, it's bad. But, you know, if you use it, it's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, she tries her ultimate and connects! She returns the favor! I wonder if... I wonder if the coach of Majin's are like, Maybe... Maybe I should have put something in to help him out with his... You know... Get into ultimate stage. Just maybe. <laughs> not, not, not Spopovich, but... Uh... Bobbity. Ah. Maybe. <laughs> like, God, can I can I change Maybe. can I change Potara's mid match? <laughs> well, he has TNAI. So you know. 
If ever there's an AI... Wow, and Videl just took him down. Look at that. Wow. This is interesting. This was still the same, like, beginning match. Yep. And she got hit by an ultimate, and she's still standing. Yep. Which was completely different from the last one. Well, to be fair, Spopovich's ultimate is one of the weaker ones. I think it's only, like, 12,000. Uh, but... Yeah. But honestly, I mean, hush. 12,000... Okay. 12,000 is a low ultimate. 15,000 is a high ultimate. There's not a huge difference there, but it seems to make a lot of difference. Yeah. It... Well, it depends on how many times you use it, um, how much it takes out of you when you do, um, how much it helps for, like, other characters, because it looks like that's a really nice ultimate if you had a team member that was Bobbity. Right. Which, I, I kind of like that, um, concept in teams where, like, partners could help each other by using certain moves. Right. That is, I, that is great. Well, and and the, oh, power body. oh, spirit bomb misses! Oh my god, it misses! <laughs> oh my gosh, the board's like, yeah, I'm just gonna step out of the way. What that thing? Uh, <laughs> just gonna step. Uh, uh, that's a that's a pretty big ball. Maybe I should uh come over here. Oh snap! It missed. Goku should have just been like, turn, turn, you stupid spirit ball. Oh. Turn, turn oh my gosh, space. this is his ultimate. It's so rare that Debora pulls this off. Yeah. And I love it too. I love it because it's just that one part right there, which is BAM. I, I remember Deborah in the show. Why does he never spit on anybody? Um, that's a good question. If, if he, okay, if no one knows the lore of Deborah and his spit, if he spits on somebody, they turn to stone. And they will not revert. There's no antidote except to kill Deborah. Huh. Well, I, I think maybe it'd be too game crushing. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But that's kind of his thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. But I mean, it would kind of crush the game just a little bit. Like, oh, oh, that character's just out of it. Until if Deborah dies. They could be, they could be his ultimate. <laughs> just spit on you. But then the person would be right back in once he's defeated, which which is pretty neat. It is kind of neat like if that. they did that, yeah, but what if Deborah tagged no out and never came back? <laughs> That's kind of a, a cheap move. You just, you just pop your ultimate off on a new player and then tag out and never use him again. <laughs> Because, hey, yeah, if you think about it, if you tag him out and then don't use him until the end, that player is effectively out for the rest of the match, win or lose. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that would be game-breaking. <laughs> the computer wouldn't know what to do with that. No. They're but they had, but they're not... But when they made this game, they weren't thinking about computer versus computer. Oh, wow. Goten tried to sleep and Deborah said, no, sir. No, sir. No sleep today. Just like me. Goten goes to max power mode. <laughs> me too. However, I'm not very sleepy. Like, I've got, I think, four hours of sleep, and I've been up since, like, seven in the morning, and I'm not that tired yet. Oh, wow. Nice dodge by Deborah. He always seems to have that smirk on his face. <laughs> it's Deborah. What do you want? Evil Impulse! I'm the king of the demon warriors. Blah, 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 blah. 
I am the king of demons. Um, I'm pretty much the greatest in my my galaxy or whatever. I just love that. Mention, yeah. Oh my god! What? They beat Pui Pui! Don't worry, master. I'm better than Pui Pui. Oh my god! They beat Yagon! <laughs> oh, but they haven't fought me yet. I'll annihilate them. And then Gokhan's like, Gohan's like going toe-to-toe -to -toe and he's like, huh. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I was a little Wait, too don't... arrogant. Again. I was always, one of my, honestly, one of my biggest disappointments in Dragon Ball Z is, uh, that, uh, actually, wait, 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 I want to make sure before I spoil things. Uh, how far have you gotten in the Boo Saga? I, I've literally gotten to, uh, Pui Pui dying. Okay, never mind then, never mind. I'll, I'll just quit talking then. And then I, like, skipped ahead to a point where, um, uh, Hercule was with Boo. I think that's... Uh, yeah, you skipped yeah. a lot. <laughs> So I'm just gonna close my yeah, mouth and not finish. Just between there, and there. Huh? I do boo game up somehow. <laughs> and yeah. and somehow became good. <laughs> At some point. That was yeah, odd. you missed a lot. In fact, you, in my opinion, you missed one of the best parts of the entire series. Literally. Wow! Look at the board hopscotch that beam. Taking some lessons from Team Dip, I see. <laughs> well, um, it looks like uh, the Rugrats are getting firmly trounced again. By Deborah, I might add, because Pan took out Spopovich, and Deborah has literally I'm taken still... out Pan, Goten, and Goto Goku, and half of Trunks. Go who? Huh? Go who? Uh, Goku. You know, the actual kid that is in the show. Who? Yes, God. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, and Vegeta wins! <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. And Vegeta actually. Wow. Vegeta actually finished that, uh. He finished that out with a custom saying because he beat his son. He said something about he no longer has any petty attachments. <laughs> Just killed my kid. I can go to the bar now. Wow. Time to work out at the gym. <laughs> so, that concludes round one of the playoffs, folks. It looks like the teams that advance are Team Cold, uh, Team Derp, the Super Saiyans, and the Majins. Wow, and uh, next week they will take on the leaders in each division for the division championship. Should be a very exciting week, and uh, we will see you guys there. So, until then, anything you want to say, last words? Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.